Alola, I'm the official name reader. My job is to look through the first page of Google, review the nicknames provided by the internet, and then give my recommendation to the end. Today, we're looking at our next piece of furry bait, Zara Aura. Technically, the last little Pokemon. Just take a small further look. It looks like that's all we're doing up until here. All right, I just want to let it known real quick. I haven't seen a single good suggestion. I haven't highlighted anything yet, but this is the closest we have to one because Thundercat. Is it particularly great? No, but kind of surprised no one said it first. I right, look, Thundercat. Again, I just want to highlight, we have seen nothing. Now granted, this is a mythical, and mythicals usually have like zero nicknames at all. So I'm not really surprised, it is what it is. We'll just put this in here so we have something to, uh, you know, look at in the video. Same with this one, do I care? No. I think to me, the most fascinating thing is the fact that there was some shiny distribution event and I didn't know about it. This says it was June of 2020. I don't have a shiny Zero Aura. I just have my regular one from when it was released in Ultra. I'll acknowledge Knuckles just for the fact that, like, you know, its signature move is a punch move. Well, we haven't actually seen Knuckles as far as a nickname before. I've seen Sonic a few times, but never Knuckles. And I think people are like, oh, well, it's not an echidna. Yeah, you're right. But it punch. I've also seen this twice, and I'm just gonna highlight this one in case anyone cares. People are saying that it's too similar to Zoroark, and I don't disagree. You know, Nago's kind of a bland name, but it is actually one I've wanted to do, because I just thought it could be kind of fun to mess around with the uh, animal buddies from Kirby. So, like, Kine is definitely one I want to use as well. But, yeah, Nago, that's something just to highlight and put in the video. We're really, like scraping for any we're basically digging through the trash right and we're trying to find like a single piece of food that's like maybe edible like it's probably covered in shit right but we're looking for literally anything we can get our hands on so for the sake of it godomon that's a digimon it literally is just catmon nothing special but for the sake of having anything to keep us from starving to death we'll acknowledge this trash Okay, well, let's uh, let's also take it the piss out of some of these ones that I've seen dozens of times. Zero, the Zero Aura, literally the link right below this, because we're about to be done, is just that same shit, and that's literally half of its name, so it's not particularly great. Zero is a fine name, just not for Zero Aura. Blitz, I've seen a bunch of times as well. Oh, it sounds edgy for Fat Cat, Thunder, Feral. Cool. Do Blitzkrieg or something. Be more original. Shit, what the fuck? I like the idea of trying to do circuitry with kitty like you tripped and fell but you tried reverse flash like that's better because i saw that one was just called like zoom or something like that and it was the bad guy from flash and i was like man this guy's saying that that bad guy from flash was so scary or whatever I'm like there's no way some motherfucker named zoom can be scary ah oh, tesla oh jeez man i really i was so worried i thought for a second i was like damn are we about to do an electric type Pokemon and no one say Tesla? Like this is this is unreal. You can't just do that. That's illegal. You have to say Tesla. If you don't use Tesla as a nickname, you're just a, a faulted human being. No, fuck Tesla. The most generic shit in the planet. Perserker. That's ironic. That's literally a Pokemon's name. Taserface. I remember that one that's supposed to be a bad guy in like Guardians of the Galaxy. A character in Guardians of the Galaxy. I don't remember if he's good or bad. It's just a funny sounding name. Okay. We've reached the bottom. Dude, today was a dud. But I mean, there was also a lot of discussions about can you even nickname um, myth this Pokemon? So there was that divisive. I don't know why this shows up here and the rest don't. For context sake, because Ranker was being a stupid shit telling me to turn off my ad blocker, even though it was already turned off, I had to go to my extensions disable the app entirely and refresh over and over again for it to actually work so thanks Riker you fucking virus of the internet but uh yeah that's that we didn't see shit maybe just took the piss out of it we dug through the trash can and I mean we didn't even find any piece of food that was actually edible what do you what do you expect when you dig through the trash I'm gonna tell you that Thundercat was the most popular choice out of all of them so just throwing that one out there. But that's that. Any other ideas and suggestions you have, feel free to put in the comments below. Give a thumbs up to the ones you think are good. 
Let us know what you'd use, what you'd recommend, if you have anything that you use. I don't know. I don't nickname legendaries. There wasn't anything I written down. There was no comment suggestions. The spreadsheet is no more as of this point. And actually, as of Zeraora, Pokemon.net is officially no more as well. Those are two trends that now die with Alola and we will not see in Galar.